Hey, JB, congrats on the win. Uh, obviously, very impressive victory. Great start, great finish. What were you most pleased with maybe down the stretch in that fourth quarter, uh, particularly with the team not having Terry Rogier in the second half? We, we talked to, you know, to start the fourth quarter, obviously, they're a great team. They're going to make a run. Uh, they're a heck of a team. And we said going into that fourth quarter, the huddle, I challenged them to have the best defensive quarter of the game. And, you know, when I checked the numbers, they, they scored three minutes in the last seven minutes. And I'd say our guys committed to the defensive end. They bought in. They were fully connected tonight from start to finish. Obviously, Milwaukee's going to make a run. They're a heck of a team. And we bounce back with resiliency. So to me, that's what this game was about. It's about fully commitment, full commitment on the defensive end, fully connected on offense and defense. And then you got to be resilient in this league. No matter what people are saying, the noise outside, inside, it doesn't matter. We just got to focus and do our job. Uh, tremendously proud of our guys. Just really proud of them, how they hung in there without Terry. Everybody stepped up. The bench was fantastic. Miles. Mello, Malik, and Caleb gave us great minutes there. So um, just really proud of the group. Thank you. Let's go to Rick. JB, as far as LaMelo, not just what he contributed, but how he performed, you know, 31 minutes, one turnover. In terms of how he played, not just what he contributed, is that what you are looking for from him at this point? Yeah, I thought he had an overall, you know, he was very aggressive tonight. Um, you know, we spent some time today and, you know, he, he's he's got to continue to be himself. He's fearless. He's aggressive. He's attacking the paint. He's getting to the free throw line. He's making plays for others. He kept he kept the pressure on Milwaukee all night and he did it with a poise, um, his fearlessness, uh, his ability to bounce back. Um, even when things don't go his way on one end of the floor, He's a special kid. Uh, he's only getting better. But I thought he handled himself and he managed the game tonight, Rick. I think he, he did a great job of balancing aggressiveness, poise, and making the right play. So um, really special performance by him tonight. How bad do you think Terry's ankle is? I don't know. I'll get a report now. We don't have a report yet. Um, I just got back here with the guy. So I'll, I'll check on that. Uh, I didn't see the play. I, I don't know what happened there, you know, but um really proud of the group thank you yeah let's go to rod boone and then richard walker hey jb you mentioned the bench uh malik monk to give you 18 points and be efficient off the bench tonight what did you see from him and and how um important can he be for you guys going forward to kind of give you the lift off the bench that we did tonight yeah he's been really good the minutes he's been he's earned um he's been fantastic attacking the paint playing with his teammates, fully connected with his teammates, uh, driving it. He has the ability to get to the rim and finish. We know that's not an area that's um, a strength of ours, but not only that, he can finish at the rim and he can make plays for others. He looks confident out there. Um, and the biggest thing to me is he just, he looks connected with his teammates and his team. He's fully bought in and uh, he was a big part of this win tonight. Coach Borrego, you talked about how in the fourth quarter you challenged the players. Robin Lopez, I mean, Lopez came out really fast and really strong. What did you do to kind of alter that fast start he had because it seemed to kind of slow him down the second half of the fourth quarter? Yeah, look, we just, Cody just battled tonight. I mean, Cody was fantastic. He played 35 minutes, 15 rebounds. And again, what, what Cody does doesn't show up in the stat sheet. He just battled his tail off down there. Lopez is a big big body and we just stuck with our game plan we you know you can't take everything away but our guys continue to battle to challenge him he made a few shots but nobody hung their head you know every time they score we, we continuously put pressure on them and i've used this analogy with you guys it's just like the two minute drill we're constantly in the two minute drill and tonight was the same thing our guards kept pressure on them even after they scored steve reed and then wrap up with rafael haynes Hey, JB, um, two-part question. First of all, with LaMelo, um, when was the last time you saw a guy who have seemingly have that much fun on the basketball court? It just seems like when he's out there, he's laughing. Um, I, I just really enjoy him playing the game. And secondly, um, with, with, with the Terry uh, injury to Terry, would you anticipate that if Terry's unable to go, that LaMelo would, um, 
would get to start for the next game? Yeah, you know, let's see where Terry's at first. I don't want to. I don't want to jump the gun here. Um, let's just, you know, breathe for a me minute. Let the dust settle. Um, evaluate where Terry's at and, and make a, a call from there. Um, you know, obviously we went with that lineup to start the, the second half, and the second half was really good. We got off to a good start again. I thought that group played with a lot of energy and, and poise. Um, and what was your first question? You asked. Yeah, I was just asking. Lamello. Yeah, Lamelo. How much fun he has out yeah, there? Seems like. It's. I mean, that's what makes him special. He just loves the game. He has a, a great joy um, for his team, his teammates, and playing the game, and it's special. Um, and I don't know of another player. You know, I, I don't. I don't want to dig through and compare him to anybody, but um, it's infectious. You know, it's infectious. The guys love playing with him. They play with more joy. I want to coach him with more joy because of him. And it's a beautiful thing. He, he's really ignited um, a real joy and passion in our program. So uh, to do that at 19 is really special. And I can't believe, like, when you look at his number, he's only play, he only played 13 games in his career, you know, last last time he was with a, a ball club. So um, really proud of his growth. Let's wrap up with Rafael Haynes. Hey, Coach Rafael from the three-point conversion. Coach, you see Cody Zeller and and um, Gordon, you know, counting them, like you said, they played well tonight. But to see all of the young guys step up and play in a big game like this, a back-to-back -back against a contender, I mean, how does that make you feel? I mean, these guys have worked their tail off. We've been doing this for a while now, and we've laid a lot of seed over the last couple of years. This didn't just happen overnight. They put the work in, we put the work in, and you're starting to see the fruits of that now. And I think tonight was a great example, to your point, watching them play with joy and passion, uh, play with great pace, share the ball with each other, trust each other, uh, and enjoy each other on the floor. It was, it was special. And it was the veterans, it was the young guys, um, just, you know, this is, this is the vision and this is the goal. We got to keep this moving forward. You know, we can't be satisfied after one or two wins. The goal is to continue to play this way with the commitment, the passion, um, and the resiliency that we saw tonight. And I know you have confidence in all of your guys, but have you been surprised with the way LaMelo and Malik has played together in the backcourt? Yeah, look, it's it's a positive right now, and you know, um, they look like they're connected. They look like they know how to play together. They pull for each other. Um, they talk to each other out there on the court. Um, that could be a very good combination for us moving forward.